A little while ago, I had done the LEGO Star Wars Visual Dictionary Review, and um, it was the very first book that LEGO put out. It celebrated 10 years of LEGO Star Wars sets being built, and um, it was a really cool read. It's kind of like a look back in history to see how, you know, how it all started, because we are going on decades now. Um, but this book came out in 2014. It was kind of five years later, so now we got 15 years of Star Wars models and I just want to check it out and it looks really cool You got this whole like shiny cover. I don't know how that's working on the camera here, but it looks really cool in person um, But here's um, got Boba Fett and just some of the newer ships that probably weren't around in that first 10-year book and um, For the title page we've got a nice B-wing fighter and this book like I said it came out in 2014 It was donated to my library in 2015 and it is well used this thing is like falling apart. I had to be really careful when I read it. And I may be the last person to check this book out. I'm going to take the librarian and just show them it and they might have to take it out of circulation, but um, glad I got to see it. <laughs> uh, but here's the table of contents. We've got the chapter one, prequel, trilogy, and Clone Wars, the original trilogy and expanded universe. Then we go to the specialty sets and then beyond the brick. So here's a little introduction about, hey, hey, this is Lego Star Wars, how it all started. This is where we're at. And then this is, this is probably just the exact same um, page that they just copied, copied and just re reprinted it for the book. Years, 1999 was the first year LEGO Star Wars came out, 2000, 2001, so the years from left to right, and then the episodes or um, expanded universe that they came from. So you got episode one, episode four, five, six, and over here we get episode two. Um, so you kind of see the years they made and also how many of each set from the different themes. And you know, as we turn the page, 2005, you can see there's a lot of episode three sets. So we're probably, this is the year episode three just came out. Um, I can't remember the exact year, but just based on this, that's what I'm guessing. And then we go 2008 to 2011. And now the next page, since this is like the first 10 years, and they usually have a little sneak peek to 11, this is where the new material is. So if you've seen the first book, the second book, this is where you're going to see the new sets that have been made since that first 10 years came out. And then we've got chapter one, the prequels, trilogy, Clone War. So of course we have to start with Anakin Skywalker since, you know, him bringing balance to the Force is a major storyline throughout. Um, but here we've got young Annie when he was on, you know, um, Tatooine. Then you've got the Naboo Starfighter he stole to save the day. And then you've got the little speeder here that he was on Coruscant with Obi-Wan. They've got his own personal Jedi Starfighters. And, you know, steals in the movie and the expanded universe and the cartoons. Because Twilight was from the Clone Wars cartoon. And, you know, this is Anakin's private ship that he had until he lent it to Obi-Wan and it got blown up on Mandalore. But, you know, it's okay. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure Obi-Wan's good for it. And we go to pod racing, which was like one third of the first movie. So you have to include the pod racers and the different pod racers that they had. And here we kind of see the Lego building mechanics. You know, these like look really cool. And then you kind of some more ones like a little less detail. And Obi-Wan Kenobi, who is becoming very popular, uh, especially now that Ewan McGregor will be doing his Disney Plus series. I think they're saying that Obi-Wan is actually beating Vader in popularity, which is the first time ever. Uh, but Obi-Wan Kenobi, both this kind of a, a Padawan and um, Jedi Knight, and then during the Clone Wars, you've got his different Jedi Starfighters that he's had. And then the Jedi Order. And I love all the different Jedi because the Jedi are so many different species of aliens. I like to get all these different aliens uh, as Jedis. And of course, the Jedi fleet, they had lots of different um, vehicles that they piloted during and were piloted in do during the Clone War and the time of the Republic. See all the different kind of styles and paint jobs to give those Jedi their own personalities. You've got your Astomech droids. And we have Chancellor, Chancellor Palpatine. Palpatine. Don't know why he's got a red blade. Hmm. I think we know why. But here's some of his personal uh, uh, shuttles that he had. Um, then we've got the attack cruiser, which is thrown in here because, you know, he was in charge of the Republic um, during the Clone Wars. And we've got Count Dooku, where not only have your speeder and a solar sailor, we've got the, the area where he battled Obi-Wan and Anakin, and then later Yoda on, uh, G uh, <laughs> on Geonysis. We've got our Darth uh, Maul page with Sith followers. So we've got a Ventress and Savage Opress, but it's mostly about Maul here, both as, you know, kind of his 
hooded figure, his shirtless figure, and his legless, I need, they've been cut in half, so now I've got robot legs figure. And we've got the Republic Army and all the different vehicles that the Republic used during the Clone Wars. Uh, these are mostly like ground-based vehicles right here. And now we're moving into like their Navy, which is the ships. Um, and then this is kind of cool because again, they're going way beyond just the movies. We've got the police gunship, which was uh, in Star Wars Rebels. We saw a lot of that in Star Wars Rebels on the fall. And of course, you got the Republic gunship, which I think was like pretty much the uh, probably the most well known from the Clone Wars movie. Then we've got our Clone War troopers and kind of how they go the phase one clone troopers to the phase two clone troopers. You can kind of see all the different minifigure designs, which is really cool. The Separatist Army, uh, got to have the bad guys. We've got kind of the clone team. Now this is like in the Trade Federation Brown. We've also got the Separatist Blue, um, the different battle droids that they had. Uh, and you know, the larger battle droids, like the Hellfire droid and the Spider droid and the Tank droid, you know, which are basically vehicles with robot brains. And then we've got the Separatist Navy, And then General Grievous, who was, you know, very important to the, the Separatist Army and kind of like, you know, his uh, battle skills, even though he fled a lot, apparently his leadership skills were uh, very impressive. You've got different vehicles, you've got a wheeled bike, you've got uh, the me Melvolence, <laughs> man, I can talk today. And they got Geonosian uh, vehicles here and cannons and the minifigures the Naboo and Gungans, who were kind of, you know, after the first episode, didn't hear, see as much of them. Uh, unfortunately, we're still seeing Jar Jar. You've got your Mandalorians, which was really explored in depth in the uh, uh, Clone Wars cartoon. And now that we've got the Mandalorian TV show, I'm really looking forward to maybe exploring this culture more. And of course, you have to have Bounty Hunters. And with Bounty Hunters, you've got Boba Fett, both as an adult and as a kid, and his father or well, you know, clone of material, Django Fett. You got, you know, your Empire Strikes Bounty Hunters and then the Bounty Hunter um, that we saw in episode two. And then we've got, you know, our cartoon Bounty Hunters from the Clone Wars TV series. Again, very well used. I had to be very careful this book when I was reading it. Uh, Cad Bane, who is probably the second most famous Bounty Hunter next to Boba Fett. Uh, of course, he gets that whole page here to himself. And then you get some of the other Bounty Hunters who we've met um, through the different storylines. Anakin Skywalker's fallen Jedi Order. So here we kind of see his fall into the dark side where, you know, he battles, um, you know, he helps save the Emperor from Mace Windu. He battles Obi-Wan and then he becomes Darth Vader. And we got the Wookiees and I'm actually, I've probably been making a catamaran micro build. I just, I found these pieces. I've got to figure out how to do the center piece. So I'm looking forward to that. And now we're moving on to the original trilogy and the expanded universe. And here, of course, we have the Luke's T-16 Sky Skyhopper and the Land Speeder. And, um, you know, they've done so many Land Speeders. Here you can see one, two, three different designs here. And I think they're up to six now. It's ridiculous how many Land Speeders they have. And same thing with the TIE Fighters, or the TIE Fighters, the X-Wing Fighters. You know, we've had so many different X-Wing Fighters. Um, over the years, I'd love to get some different ships, especially because with all, it's such a big and expanded universe. I think they can do more than TIE Fighters and Land Speeders. And we've got the Sand Crawler, Jedi's in Hiding, Han Solo and Chewbacca. Uh, of course, you have to have the Millennium Falcon with Han Solo and Chewbacca. And then here's kind of the different models they've made. And you can definitely see how these are getting more and more detailed as they go along. Got a huge Millennium Falcon here. Emperor Palpatine, so now he's the Emperor. He's not a uh, Chancellor anymore. Um, and then Darth Vader, the Death Star, and then the TIE Fighters. And you know, they used to do these blue, the blue on the TIE Fighters. And I, I got why they did it, but just it never looked right in Lego blue. So I'm glad they do it more in grays now than this Lego blue. I'm glad they moved away from that. We've got our Star Destroyer here. Really cool, the detail inside. Uh, Cloud City. Um, it's funny, these cloud cars had such a small scene in the movie, but they're so popular. It's a really cool design. Uh, the Rebel Alliance and um, Home One. This is like a, 
This is like a set that I wish they would have done more with. It's like they kind of, I feel like they didn't know what they wanted to do with it, where you kind of had the control center and like an A-wing cockpit. The, I don't know, I feel like that, that could have been really expanded upon and looked really cool. We have Echo Base, which they've done so much with Hoth um, in Lego form. Probably is the ATSTs and AT at ats and the Wampas and the Snow Speeders. Just so many cool things happen on the Hoth. It's probably one of like the, I think probably the most famous battle sequences by the Death Star. And we've got Jabba the Hutt. And I'd love to see more Jabba the Hutt stuff because there's so many cool aliens in that scene. That I, I'd love to see more stuff made of Jabba the Hutt. Okay, different Jabba's Palace. Java sail barge. And I'm not done with the barge. They've done a lot of things with the barge and the skiffs. I'd like to see like, the actual palace done. Then we've got the Battle of Endor where we were introduced to the A-Wing, but now we know they've been around for a lot longer thanks to Rebels. Got B-Wing fighters and the Ewok stuff, and the, the shield generator building, the Ewok village. This was such an impressive set. Um, it was just so, it was just uh, too bad. It was like out of my price range, but very detailed and really cool. Then we've got our expanded units vehicles, um, where this is actually from the Sith Fury class interceptor um, to like the Sith uh, Darth Malgus, which was during the Sith Empire way before the um, Empire came along. We've got the Tie Defender from um, Rebels, so it's just really cool. And the Tie Tank, the Tie Crawler, and now we're going to the specialty sets. So these are sets that you know it doesn't matter where they come from, but they're just there's something that makes them special and. Um, these little planets, these are really cool. It's like you got these little round ball Lego balls with like the pr different planets printed on them and they came with like a micro build. So Naboo would come with Naboo Fiverr, Bestman would come with a cloud car. And these are really cool. This is before I started uh, collecting Legos, but I definitely love to get those sometime. They've got our micro fighters. And um, I don't know how I feel about these. I, I think they'd be cool if they didn't do the minifigure. I just, the minifigure always threw me off. Like I love the vehicles if they didn't have the minifigures riding them like a, kind of like a, I don't know, like a box, like a box car. Mini sets, which we all know I love to do because I love, you know, not only building these, but uh, making up my own. And just, they've made so many between the advent calendars and the poly bags, there's so many of these things. And the Lego Technic sets, which I actually, I. The Technic pieces work well for Star Wars, but, you know, and I, I liked it for the Destroyer droid, but the other things like rt 2 and um, it's just, it just, they looked weird, and I just didn't think they really worked for me. Um, you know, some people loved them, but for me, eh. Then we have the Ultimate Collector sets, and, you know, here we're 15 years in, and, like, you know, this Darth Maul, this Yoda, you know, I mean, if you see the Yoda today, that new Yoda set, I mean, this thing looks like something, you know, like, you know, like a, some novice did in their in their uh with their in their garage when you see like that new yoda set what they can do with all the new pieces they have but like i really love the um ultimate collector sets that deal with the capital ships because those are supposed to be so much bigger than the ties and the x-wings i love when they do ultimate collector series of like these capital ships and then speaking more capital ships you got an imperial star destroyer a death star like those are the ones i really want to see these ultimate collector series and Probably my favorite, the Super Star Destroyer. That that's probably my favorite Lego set um, ever. Um, I don't I don't know if I'll ever own it, but it's just so cool. I, I love that. I should say my favorite Lego Star Wars set um, for sure. And we go to our seasonal Star Wars Advent calendars, and I've always loved these because of those micro builds. They've got so many cool designs in them, um, and also sometimes you get really cool figures like our uh, Santa, Darth Maul, or Yoda. And then here's Beyond the Brick. Um, and again, there's, if you read the first book, there's really no new information here. So I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool because it's just, you know, we, we've already read it. Um, more merchandising, which I think we all know about, again, from the first book and just being in a store. Uh, the promotional pieces. And, you know, this is actually where I started getting a little more disappointed in the book because this X-Wing fighter was in the first book. I, I would have liked to have seen a different thing displayed here. Um, and same thing here, fan creations. Like, this was in the first book. I feel like in five years, there had to be like a whole bunch of new fan creations. I think there should have been no repeats on this page, but they repeated. And don't get me wrong, these are great models, but we already had them in the first book, so give us some new stuff. And then of course, Star Wars video games and the TV specials and the video games, I think, were like the best selling. Um, Lego games still the the, the trilogy um, that they did was I think the best-selling Lego game in the, I just looked saw them in the Guinness 
book of world records. And uh, this is probably my favorite part of the entire book. It's the minifigure lineup. Um, I just love seeing, because they, they do it with the characters. So I get to see all the young Anakin Skywalkers kind of growing up, growing up into Darth Vader. They get the, you know, some Qui-Gon's and then Obi-Wan, Padme, RTD2, C3PO, all those different astromech droids they've created. It's funny because they actually have, you know, uh, Sebulba, who this technically is not a minifigure at all. He uses no minifigure pieces, but then again, either do the droids. So, um, got some of the, the Yodas and it's a Christmas Yoda, Boba Fett, the clones, clones, Jedi, the battle droids they've made. Some of the Sith, the Bounty Hunters, Geonosians, more droids, Luke Skywalker, so many Luke Skywalkers, Princess Leia, Jawa, some Imperials, Han Solo, X-Wing fighter pilots, Hoth pilots, the Chewbacca's and different Wookiees. You got your Ewoks. And finally we come to our set and index page. So this is a fun book. Um, it, there wasn't enough difference in it. There's like too much of the same to make it, I think, really worth it. But you know, if, if you have your local library, check it out. It's kind of a fun little thing to look through. But um, you know, it's one of those books that really, I guess I'm assuming every five years would become kind of outdated. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.